the 5E model is a constructivist approach to learning, and while it can be applied to individual lessons, more often in science planning, it is applied to the planning of the whole unit. video today we're going to be talking about the 5E model. So Jeff, if you were doing a unit, say, on paper towels, um, how would you start this 5E model? Good question. I'd start with my engage. That might be an interesting article, a story, a photograph, an advertisement, or in this case a video. Let me show you a clip to demonstrate the engage portion of this unit. To win at the Olympic Games, Allison Felix needs to be quicker than everybody. To win at home, she needs to be quicker than... Chloe! That's why Allison Felix uses Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Chloe! Chloe! Bounty is faster and two times more absorbent than the leading ordinary brand. And faster than Chloe, too. Come on, Chloe. <laughs> Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. In this case, the Engage video was to hook our students into the unit and get them thinking about what types of evidence are needed to support a claim. So once you finish that Engage, how do you move on to the Explore part of the unit? In this case, I'd like to have some different paper towels and let students try to investigate the different properties of, the, of those paper towels. Then I'd pose a question, such as, which paper towel is best? Well, to me, best means the most absorbent. Why don't you just ask the kids to measure which is the most absorbent? Well, because I want to leave this part a little more open. Some students may make a claim that Bounty is the most absorbent, but another group might say Sparkle cleans windows with no lint, and that's why it's best. Another group might define best as the paper towel that lasts the longest. In each case, my goal for them is to make a claim and then we start to collect evidence to support that claim. So your Explore allows students to gather some background knowledge on a topic. It might even bring them to claim and evidence. Yeah. That's right, Kathy. Now how would you do the Explain portion? Well, I see Explain two ways. In one, the teacher is explaining to the students, and the other is that students are beginning to make meaning of a concept, and they can explain back to the teacher or to another student their new understandings of a concept or a topic. So for teacher explaining, some different ways for that could be um, in the form of a video, maybe asking the students to read nonfiction text uh, or classroom discussion. Mm. This is also the place in my unit where I would bring in vocabulary. Right. Using 5E, students should experience a topic first, um, experience a concept, and then the vocabulary will have more meaning to them. I don't suggest that you front load the vocabulary in a unit. Instead, let students explore a topic and then bring in the vocabulary. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so next is elaborate, or in some cases it's called extend. Extend. At this point, I would have students do some independent research on the topic based on interest. Um, so if this is about paper towels, I might ask them to research the history of paper towels or do something like find the actual data that allows Bounty to make their claim um, some other ideas for an extend in a unit could be like field trips or guest speakers. The extend really is trying to take the students to that next level of understanding and owning the concept. Um, so I guess as we wrap up this unit on paper towels, Jeff, how would you approach our last E, which is evaluate? Well, I'm glad you asked that because this is, this is important. Yeah, paper and pencil tests are important, but students, to really own their learning, I'd like to see performance assessments. Uh, scenario-based assessments. 
For example, students might have to write an advertising campaign and a jingle about the best paper towel, and then they'd use their data that they'd collected. Other ideas for evaluate could be creating a PowerPoint, a video poster. Sounds pretty good. So to wrap up, teachers, we just want you to consider using the 5E model as you plan your science units. Engage students with something interesting. Explore the topic or concept with an investigation. Explain, extend, and then evaluate. If you follow this in your, in your planning, your science class will go well. And of, of course, course, science matters. Science matters. <laughs> In this video, the topic used was paper towels, so as to give you an example of how to apply 5E to the planning of any topic. Of course, paper towels is not one of our standards. Science units should always be planned by starting with the standards identified in the scope and sequence for your grade. Look closely at the standard. What should students know and be able to do as a result of learning that standard? And then build your unit starting with an engage, followed by explore, explain, extend, evaluate.